All right, guys, we're playing some Lilia top lane. And the plan this game is that we're going to go full AP using Ludens as an item. It's going to be ridiculous. Um, this build is going to be awesome. I know for sure it's going to work. It's going to be very different from the meta build, but you guys are going to like it. So we have uh, Conquer, Presence. We got Tenacity, Cut the Grass, Biscuits, and Cosmic. And then we also have a Dawn's Ring, and then we also have Ignite Flash. Probably facing off a uh, counter matchup. A pretty bad one, actually. Lillian to a Pantheon is not exactly the most brightest, you know, best matchup ever. It's going to be hard to play it out, but we'll find how it goes. One thing's for sure, we need to get that level 2 before he does. I'm going to give it a try. Nice. Definitely going to take the pressure up against this guy. Ooh, 200 damage. I think that's going to be enough. No, it's not. Hmm. I can probably try and kill him here. Wait a second. I need my I need Zed to come top lane. Hmm. This will become a challenge. I don't think I can beat him. Because Talon is on the way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let him go. Well, that's kind of an unfortunate start. I was honestly quite ready for it, but I cannot take a risk against a Talon. Um, we did have, like, Seth cleaning up the jungle here, but he did a full clear. So I couldn't rely on Zed helping me out here. He's gonna try it? He's gonna wait all day for this? Yeah, he's actually waiting okay. all day for this. Hmm. Okay, he blocked it. Hmm. Okay, not bad. Now we uh, completely shove this out. All I want to do right now is just shove it out so I can reset again. Perfect. Man, I love that wave clear on Lilia. I really like it. Okay, let's get my... Well, I'm gonna get another one of this. And then we also got two pots, and then we take a ward. Um, Pantheon so far has a long sword. So he's got three, uh, he's got corrupting pot and he's got a long sword. He also plays with biscuits, so he has a lot of mana this game. Ooh, sets popping off. Not bad. Now we have to be really careful because we're gonna have to find out where Talon's gonna come from. And based on where Talon is, we can start playing this, this lane out. We're currently also level 4, this guy's level 5, so we have to be very careful with the traits too. Mm-hmm. He's trying to land it. Talon is currently in bot lane. Yeah, this is like the most scary thing about the matchup. Like Pantheon is a uh, is a problem now. If he gets like five stacks on this thing, his next ability is going to do like three hundred damage. So we can we all we can do is to stay away from it. Ooh, nice wave clearing very quickly.
Ooh, wait, that's nice. That's really good. Okay. All I need right now is one simple ball on this guy, and then I can all in this guy. So, see if that works. Hmm. I think he's probably going back to base. Nah, never mind. He picked up a plant. I can just clear this out and then back off, probably. I'm currently running short on mana, so... Oh, yep, he's still here, apparently. Things will become more fun when I get my hands on Ludens. More AP? You might wonder why I'm not going for Lost Chapter when I can literally buy it. The reason why is because I already have these two items. So I'm just getting myself this component so I have even more AP. I was trying to like maximize my damage currently by going as much AP as possible. So I'm not going for I'm not completing the components currently. I'm just going for the whatever gives the most. Oh, Pantene's roaming. I can probably get a kill this guy. Well, never mind. Yeah, uh, dodge my uh, my snowball. This this Pantene is still like playing the game around with just a long sword. We'll see if I can get my hands on, on a plate here. Because he's currently backing to get items. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Two creeps lost, alright. Um, I think Pantsy's trying to roam. Yeah, he's currently in mid. And I believe he's coming top now. Okay. Yeah, let's get my hands on last chapter here. Nice. And we also go for that one. That's gonna help. Um, the next ability I want to max out is W. Because it makes it a lot lower cooldown. But I also want to max my E, but I'm definitely considering W more. Yeah. Hard decisions to be made, but I think I'm going to max my W. Just want to try and maximize my damage. If I can lower the cooldown on my W, then I, I, then I want it. There you go. We can probably get another plate, depending on if he's going to roam. I think he's trying to roam. No way. I'm getting very close to getting my first item. Like, I think that Ludens is going to make the perfect change this game for me. Wait. And I'm dead. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. I took 500 damage from the turret. Feels bad, man. Well, my jungle has him. Yep. Got my loot ins. 
I'm gonna go for the 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 blue Jenkins of the red one. I hate this matchup, man. Like Lilia top is a uh, it's actually a really good top laner, but if you pick Lilia into the wrong matchup, it can become quite tough. And to be honest, I'm quite surprised we even managed to get this far without dying so far, because this matchup is truly awful. You know, Pantheon can jump into me anytime he wants. And he can also dodge my Q by doing it. So it's a really bad matchup. And he's also going for Lethality, which also counters me. But yeah, things will change now, because now I actually have my Ludens. Well, we have another plate. Uh, my jungle was dying to this guy. Okay, now it's going to be a challenge to get away from this one. Or, maybe. We have the... Um, we got every single plate. Which means we're really far ahead on Pantheon now. I wonder if I can hit a ball on this guy. Not there. No. I think it's trying to roam again. Yep. That's gonna shove in. Alright. We are going to change the playstyle a little bit. Because I don't expect me to get any kills during lane anymore. That's very unlikely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy Sorcerer's Shoes. And we're going to start perma roaming towards other lanes. Now, of course, it's still not 14 minutes. I hope he's going to get plates. Because I think he's looking for this. We already have Seth going there. So that's going to be... Uh, that problem will be solved. Let's see how this goes. Like, now is the moment in the game, now we're actually going to get kills. Uh, if I jump into that, he's gonna kill me. Nice. Okay, well, decent. can probably catch him. You can't outrun. Oh, wait. Yeah, right. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Alright. Cleaned up by Talon instead. Okay, my next item is... I want to go for Zonia and Rabidans next so we're going to go for we're definitely taking Zania first so currently every time i try and poke them the ludens will always proc it's it's a very it's it's a little bit different from the build that you guys are being used to normally you build like in, normally you start building into like demonic embrace and all this stuff Wait a second. Thank you. I would really appreciate if I can get a blue buff. That would be awesome. Ah, uh, please. Ah, it's got it. Uh, disappointing. I would have been so happy with the blue buff.
Yep. Last try. I need Sanyas. We'll start off with Sika's Arm Guard. And this game is honestly looking pretty good. Like, I'm not fat currently, but it's it's acceptable. The thing is, like, we're currently pretty far ahead on Pantheon. Not XP wise, but farm wise, we're really far ahead. Also, also the plates, we're really far ahead of this guy. But we just gotta, um, we gotta keep farming this game for better opportunities. I think they're going back top. Okay, here we go. Full movement speed mode. Here we go. Fortunately, the gold goes to my support, but it is what it is. My E does like so much damage, bro. Considering I've only got like one point into it. Uh, we can farm this out too. Yep. Anything else? Ooh. Wait. Oh, he stunned him so he didn't land. You kidding, bro. Yeah, cleaned up by Talon again. I, I think I should have just let Aurelia take and just run. But I didn't see Talon. My bad. I think you walked in vision here. Never expected that I would struggle against this Pantheon, man. Like, pa like I mean, uh, not Pantheon, I mean Talon. Like, Pantheon hasn't been an issue at all this game. Uh, despite it being a counter pick. I think I could literally like obliterate Pantheon just by going in and then probably tank his whole damage and still live since I have my Zonia now. Man, these guys are forcing my turret. Oh, it turns out that Talon is also here. Bro, this guy is so slow. I'm just gonna assume that Pantheon and the other guy is still here. Okay, here we go. I can outrun them if they, in case they do chase me down. Bro, the wave clear on this champion, dude. Nah, I'm not gonna try. I'm glad I did not try, because it appears that Talon was showing up. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do it. Nice. A lot of kill that goes to the other guy, but yeah, it is what it is. Full movement speed ready? I got him. Oh, 
We can probably get Talon. I have no assist at all. But yeah, no problem. Full AP Lilia is doing a great job, actually. Normally, I would go for like a burn build when playing Lilia. Full AP. But this time, I'm just going literally full AP by itself. And it's really not that bad. Sidestepping with Lilia when going full AP. I mean, we have like four stacks. Like, you can just dodge everything by just sidestepping it. It's also not that hard. Ah, come on, bro. Jonas being Jonas again, right? Well. Nice. He stole the blue buff. And then he died afterwards. Quality. Truly. Rabidence. And we also start building towards... It, this might surprise you, but we're also building towards Void Staff already. So we can go with, like, absolute max AP. So far, my Q does, like, a decent amount. Not too much. Like, four, 300 total with Ludens, 400 maybe. My W does like nearly 800 damage with Ludens that would be around a thousand. Not bad. Okay. Uh, we can go to uh, to the Baron now. Oh, nice. That's a blue buff. Nice, that's really good. Got every single camp. I'll get the wave as well. And we get the river camp. We're, we're trying to be as efficient as we can be using the camp so we can actually make a big lead. Sometimes the answer in these type of games is just not to like go for many too many team fights, but just to farm it out. Wait. Bro, that was so close, dude. Like, I tried guessing that, but like, it was so cr it was so close. They're trying to chase down Sivir. Yeah, we got to back off soon, but things looking good now. We have a blue buff, so mana is not really an issue currently. I'll take the wave here as well. Or... Nice. Of course, so this guy gets cleaned up. Now that guy's gonna die. Mm. 
you kidding, bro? I completely forgot about that for a second. Wait, Lilia can't do that. Dude. <laughs> oh, man. Such a waste of my ultimate. Got you, bro. <laughs> Yo, my, my W was so troll when I ulted. I was like halfway in the jump, I was like, oh wait, you can't actually do it. I realized it before, um, before it even went wrong. Let's go with Rabidans. Nice. I'm gonna take that blue buff. This time it's my blue buff. Thank you. Finally. Ooh, this feels good. Feels good to have so much AP now. Uh, quick question. Do you ever take champion requests? Uh, yes, sometimes. I always prioritize the champions I'm gonna play for YouTube first, and then after that, like, I take champion requests. Um, seems like two people are Baron, so... Mm-hmm. See you later, buddy. Sorry, playing Lilia. You probably did not expect my damage. <laughs> That was like one W and Q and he just he just got obliterated. More AP. Let's go, dude. So far my conquer did absolutely nothing this game. <laughs> it did 61. So terrible. Could not use it at all this game. They're going for the third dragon. We can't really change it. Break him. Nice. Hey, by the way, thank you for gifting Kobe. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the gift. Ooh, is this gonna be... Nice. Bro. Oh, nice try, dude. He was close. He was really close. Man, they're trying hard to kill me here. Yeah, this game is looking good. I hit that, but I don't have my ultimate. Um, I'll go for red. Yeah, I'll go for the red buff. 
a fr0 g5 <laughs> i don't know if i even say that name right or if, if it is a name or no i don't know hey thank you for the sub thanks man I can't do it, no. I can't. Hey, but hey, thank you for the surprise, man. Thank you. Yo, I'm getting chased out by a Talon. Just to make sure I'm not going to die to a Talon here, I'm just going to backport, like, right behind the tower. These guys are often very unpredictable. Okay, we need one more item and i think i know exactly what that's going to be i'm thinking about going for it's it's going to sound strange but i'm thinking about nash's tooth nice nice Okay. Keep fighting. Wow, he ignited me, okay. Alright. Hmm. Ha <laughs> Oh, man. Ah, yeah, you can't kill me, man. I'm not walking too fast. They tried so hard to beat me, man. They tried so hard. Just look at how they played it. Oh, nice try. They're spawning. Oh, I'm dead. I highly underestimate the Pantheon right there. <laughs> Too bad, man. Alright, let's see. I can, uh... I can sell that stuff. I was thinking about going for... Nash is to it, but I don't think I will. Maybe it's better if I just go for Rely, because it gives me HP and it gives me AP, and honestly, why not? However, if I go Nash's Tooth, though, I will have damage on my autos, which is great for splitting, but yeah, I don't know. Doesn't sound... it doesn't feel right. So I think it, I'm better off if I go for Rely's Crystal Scepter. But at least I have Permaslows. Or I can also go for Bansheeville, because then I'll have AP MR. Hard choices to be made right here. I think I'm going to go for Rely Crystal Scepter. It's just going to do a better job here. Well... We uh, got to get my hands on Baron next. Still stealing camps, even though I'm full build. Yeah, see you later. Don't you worry, I'm running fast. I'm just going to go hide forever now. I seem to notice a pattern. They're trying to kill me here all the time. Uh, quick question. Any chance of a Talia game? 
I mean, I think it would be an excellent idea to play the champ. Uh, I do have to admit, though, I haven't played Talia in decades. The last time I played her, she got reworked. Like, it, it was right before the rework, I mean. Wow. Crazy. Ooh, 50 HP, bro. And I actually lived. I'm so lucky this game. Never mind. This guy still had Flash and R? Are you kidding? Really? Bro, this guy's cleaning up my team. Well, I rarely gets free autos. Yeah, I was not expecting too much. The, this Talon is actually quite fit. Even without ultimate heat, it still does a lot of damage. My conquer this game is absolutely useless. All three nips are down, so we just need to have Baron. And then we are good to go. Uh, wait a second. Well, I'm gonna press my R. Got him. Ooh. Man, that talent is... <laughs> that talent is a problem. You know, one thing that you cannot do is... Jumping across walls using Lily as W. That's not possible, so there was no way for me to, like, jump over here. If they try and kite me down from this way, I can't do anything but maybe press a Q, like, across the wall, but that's really it. I'm thinking about selling my sorcerer shoes, but there's really nothing out, nothing good I can get. Yeah, I'll go for another AP potion. Here we go. Hello, side. Like you guys saying this is hard anything? I don't know. I, in my opinion, like uh, playing Zed in this game right now, in the late game, it's kind of hard to do. Can't blame him. Ooh. Who's gonna win? Oh, Zed wins that stuff. Okay. All right. Bro, that movement speed is incredible. Hey, the way, this is Lilia Top. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.